So today we're going to get into dendrobiums and if your orchid isn't any one of the others uh, it's probably a dendrobium because dendrobiums are such a large family but really there's such a broad spectrum of different dendrobiums that we're going to have to look into to help you figure out which is yours. Let's just go through some of the examples and this should give you a better idea of what you're looking at. And with that welcome to the nature company. If this is the kind of information you're interested in please hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and that notification bell to be notified of all our upcoming videos so you don't miss out on a thing. And here's just a tiny selection <laughs> of some of the different dendrobiums. And no, I promise I'm not trying to make your life more difficult. I know these all look so different, but there are all those overriding things that bring them all together as a single group. And we'll go through some of those and help you make that decision. Is your orchid a dendrobium? It probably is. So the two types of dendrobiums you hear about the most often are the hard cane and the soft cane. So you ask me, what's the difference? Not much, really, honestly speaking. But the hard cane dendrobiums are generally the Dendrobium phalaenopsis type, the Dendrobium biggie bum, that sort of line, and the soft cane are generally your Dendrobium noble. These are the ones that you'll come across most of the time and are generally some of the easiest to look after. So let's get out the microscope, take a closer look, and let's get you more confused <laughs> as to what orchid that you have. So I want to talk about the leaves first. But, what's this? What we have here is what they call a terit dendrobium. This is Dendrobium ocellia. And you're saying, but it's leafless. No, actually these are its leaves. It's actually pseudobulbless. There's no pseudobulbs on this, this plant. It's got these long rhizomes that lead straight onto the leaves. So, what we do with this when we classify it is we say, okay, well, it's a doc lilia now, so forget about it. Sometimes it's as easy as that. They rename it and we can just set it aside and forget that it's a dendrobium. So easy. Exactly what a, a leaf is and what a leaf isn't. We can actually have a look at the leaves and use them to help us identify. The dendrobiums will have from lanceolate to oblong to ovate, and these are just big scientific words to say that they kind of look like this. But the one thing about them is you'll see that they always alternate. So as they run up the cane, they'll grow from opposite sides of the cane on each node. And I know that's a big help. And with the leaves, we can have a leaf count from a single leaf all the way up to leaves running the entire length of the pseudobulbs. And the leaves can be anything from deciduous to persistent to evergreen, like this Dendrobium papilio. In the majority of the cases, you'll generally find the leaves are clustered towards the ends of the pseudobulbs. So that's just the first step in the confusion. Let's take a look at the pseudobulbs or those canes as they're often called to see if we can get you really confused. As we have a look here at the, the canes, we'll notice they're all divided into these segments. All of them have the segmentation. And the other thing you'll notice that even with these bulbous ones, you'll notice they too have the segmentation. And along with that, you'll notice the residue. On all of them, there's these leaf sheaths that cover up those nodes. 
they often fall off or are slowly worn off by time but you notice that they are generally there on all the different varieties so again with the with the pseudobulbs we get these long tubular cane like ones and the short fat squat rounder ones and then everything in between and now i'm telling you that these orchids are sympodial but doesn't that usually mean that they have a rhizome that grows laterally and then has the verticals off of it well they do have a rhizome it's just the rhizome is so short you can't see it all that it looks like they're doing is they're coming directly off the base of the previous pseudobulb but there is a tiny little rhizome in there which is so short it's invisible really so happy days another thing you'll find common in a lot of dendrobiums is that they kiki produce these little babies off the stems so here's a kiki with a kiki on it kiki is a Hawaiian word for child, I believe. Dendrobiums really like to produce kikis. And then with the roots, you'll notice that the root volume tends to be awfully small when compared to the plant itself. They look like they're fine hay-like roots and you wonder how such a small root system can make such a big plant flourish. Restricted in tiny little pots compared to their size. Wait, don't look here. I've just been telling them there's not much root system. But honestly, if you look at the overall size of the plant, there really isn't that much root system compared to what a lot of other orchids or types of plants may have. So now just to make it easy, let's have a look at the different sizes and that will help us get a clear picture whether you have a dendrobium. So we get these tiny little spreading ones, these small little mounding ones. There's almost reed like grass ones, these upright medium sized ones, these rather large bulbous strange looking ones, and the darn right tall upright ones, and the all over the place huge big masses of plant ones. So you should have a good idea now. All of that just makes it so much easier. But now we know why I called it the muddy waters of orchid identification. But if you look at the basics that I gave you there, you should be able to get a good idea of whether your orchid is a dendrobium or not. And invariably, if you do have one of the really strange ones, you probably know already, because then you're probably a verified orchid collector or just a plant maniac like me. If you have found any of this information helpful, please hit that like button and that subscribe button down below if you haven't already, and that notification bell, bing bong, to be notified of all our upcoming content so you don't miss out on a thing. Help us grow as we help your plants grow.